Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Revit Structure. So friends, today we are doing the part 2 of the video on modeling of a 4 into 4 G plus 1 room in Revit Structures. So if you haven't watched the previous video, you can go to the link which has been given here and watch that. So having said that, let's continue with today's video. So the grids and the levels have been created as you can see here in one of the elevations. So the levels have already been created as you can see these levels had been created for your foundation level that is the plinth level and up to the G plus 1 ground floor plus 1 floor so now we'll go to level 1 and we'll try to insert some structural members first of all we'll select our columns so if you want to define the properties of the columns according to yourself you can select this option of type properties you can uh, let's say we want to define a column of size 250 into 300 so we'll just uh, duplicate this and we'll type 250 cross 300 and then we will define the breadth and the height that is the this will be 300 and then ok and after that we will change any more properties which we have so we don't have anything so these things we can change later so we won't be bothered about that we'll just place this so after placing these columns we can go to the 3d view and uh, check it out so for going to the 3d view you can go to the option of view 3d view default 3d view so as you can see you can view the columns and as well as you can view the columns in the elevations as well and if you check the elevations as you can see this is only done from level 1 to level 4 so if you want to you know do the columns in the entire levels what should we do so we can go back to level 1 we can pre click on escape and we can select all the four columns so after selecting all the four columns we have the your base level base level will do it as level 1 as we don't have any level below it or we can check the east elevations as you can see we can do the base level as level 2 so we'll go back to the level 1 and we'll do the base level as level 2 in this case it is our level 2 but in your case you can define the level which is below and the top level will define as your level 4 we don't need any offset of it we'll just click on 0 and we can click on apply so we'll just check in the 3d view as you can see in the 3d view if you want to rotate the 3d view just press shift and using the right click of your mouse cursor you can rotate the view and if you want to zoom in and zoom out you can use the mouse wheel button so we can easily you know move in the 3d diagram as you can see this has been done let's check it on our east elevation this has been done from our foundation level to the top level that is the g plus one level we have created our columns so now let's create some beams so for creating some beams we'll go back to our level 1 and this is also your plinth level we'll go to the structure option we'll go to the option of your beams and we'll create a new beam so for creating a new beam we can go to the option of this properties and we want a concrete beam let's say we want a new beam so we'll duplicate this let's say 250 cross 300 okay now we'll define the sizes 250 will be the width and the depth will be 300 that's how we want it and then okay and then you can just draw your beams so we'll join from here to here and then from here to here this ends remaining three view so uh, you can save the project okay so in the 3d view as you can see we can also rotate it using the shift button and the pressing the mouse middle button so in the 3d view as you can see this is our building so now as you can observe if you want you can also change the view type as you can see we have various view types here 
you can change this visual style from wireframe to you can change as shaded so you can observe that our structure uh, base has been created so now we want to insert some reinforcements in this model which we'll do in the upcoming video that's all for today stay tuned this is the part two of the video in the next part we'll see how to insert rebars so that's all bye bye we have launched for you a complete recorded course on g plus 3 building design using tecla structural designer in which all the aspects of your planning structural design and making the final structural drawing sheet will be covered and in this course we'll also include two live demonstrations and two doubt clearing sessions for you so what are you waiting for hurry up and you can contact the number which has been given here and also you can register using the link which has been given in the description